Hi, are you a dating coach? Yes, I am. Well, like professional too? Yes. Whoa. I, I never... Wait, wait, I got proof. Hold on. Well, I believe you anyway, but let's see the proof. I got proof. No, no, I got to show you. See, these are the 10 books that I wrote, and these are the three workbooks. Oh, you wrote the book. Wait, wait, let me see the title of that one book you just showed. No more what? Let me see. Wait, what is that book about? So this one is for women. This is to help women choose the right partner by using a no kissing for three months dating rule. What? And then hey, this one. Months? This one helps women be the right partner. Oh, oh yeah, obviously. The right part. I understand. With the right partner, you know what I'm saying? Wait, but why Why did you choose three months though? That's so long. Yeah, it is. It's, it's too long for selfish short-term thinkers. Yeah, like me, you know what I'm saying? I'll get that in like five minutes. Or yeah. Ten. But I don't know. That's pretty cool. Wait, actually, just tell me what like what are your books about? Like, what like? Yeah. Uh. So. Books, oh, let's match too. With how you talk about your books? Let's see your books. Come back. Come clean. back clean. Come back clean helps you heal your heart after a breakup. No more assholes helps you choose the next partner. After the first kiss helps mm. you stay in that relationship by teaching you how to create a functional relationship from day one. The two fix that shit books teach you how to not fight. So fix that shit for men and fix that shit for women. Teach you how to have zero fights. Zero fights in your relationship. Yeah. Uh, dating 101 is dating book for teens. The perfect yeah. play is the dating book for men. Mm. The free dating book is fake love need not apply. How to avoid posers, losers, scammers, predators, and catfish. That's a free one in my bio. Yeah. And custom made helps you monetize your purpose, passion, and talent. Mm -hmm. And say yes to goodness teaches you how to be happy in ten areas of your life. Thank you for the tiny twelve tiny dinies. But wait, I have a question. Wait, but so like, you know you have a book called No More Assholes, but like I don't really understand because if a girl has a really nice guy, like she's gonna end up cheating either way because it's gonna be boring, right? Like she's gonna be like, it's gonna be. Let's both be honest. It's gonna be so boring. You know what I'm saying? If she has a good guy, so like, so what? She's do you gonna say? be bored. If she has a good man. Oh, that most definitely. We already. Oh, women, women no, no. Girls will be right. Girls, so selfish short-term thinkers. Girls mm -hmm. will be bored with a functional relationship. Women mm -hmm. are not bored with a functional relationship. Guys are bored when they don't get what they want when they want it. Men are not bored being hardworking and sacrificing. Mm, wait oh um, yeah probably because everybody my age is a little girl either way right because i'm only 20 so I, you know what i'm saying and probably like yeah so i've got a girl who's 22 right now on my chat who's using the no kissing for three months dating rule and she loves it because the guys who are selfish short-term thinkers run yeah i would run too i'm not waiting exactly. for three months is so long it's like a quarter exactly yeah, and she's not looking for a short-term thinker. She wants a long-term thinker. But like, I have a question. So, like, but like, what if, like, well, you do for girls and guys, right? Like, dating for girls and guys. So, like, yeah. what if, for example, like, the guy's a good guy, right? So, obviously, like, he has, like, a low body count or whatever. So, um... Oh, like, body count doesn't have anything to do with character. Well, like, I think it does, though, personally. You know, so. Well, you think it does. But as an expert, well, I'll tell you it does. But so obviously, some of them don't. But I have a question. Okay, let's just say, like, for example, like, the guy, like... So, like, the girl's looking for a nice guy, right? Ladies, no, by the way, the guy who brought up body count was the same guy who said he'd run if you had a no kissing for three months dating rule. Do you understand the, the, the weirdness of what you just said? You said a girl should kiss you before three months, but if she has a high body count, you're going to run for the hills. So what the fuck is she supposed to think? No, like, I don't have to run for the hills. Like, I'll just have to use her still. But you might be talking to the wrong person because I kind of have a song called Objects. So that's why I'm a little, I have a little clout, but... Because you don't know who I am, well, in real life. Wait, where are you from? Are you from, like, Ontario? Yeah, I'm in Ontario. I'm from Toronto. Okay. But, like, you might be talking to the wrong person, because, like, I kind of have a song called Objects, right? And, like, you know what I'm saying? That's all good, yeah. But I, well, I, have, I have another question, though. Sure. Um, so, like, why do girls get so offended when we talk about body count? But body count's, like, like you know, like, a shoe, if a shoe's used too many times, it doesn't have that much value. So why do women get, like, offended? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Oh, I mean, seriously, like we push babies out of our vagina and that shit readjusts itself. So you're, you know, the thing that you're saying there actually doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But we think it's really weird that you guys are like, no, like you have to kiss and have sex with us right away because we're into you. But by the way, you're not allowed to have a high body count. I know. Yeah, basically, that's how I think, too. But it's true. Well, they can have high body count, but I'll just never wipe them up, you know. 
But I do like girls with high body count. Like, I do like them because <laughs> they're more fun. But see here, my women who I'm working with, they don't want to husband somebody who's judgmental and who is, um, mm. what's the word I'm looking for? Um, who doesn't make any sense, right? Yeah. No, but I do like girls with high body count. They're better. Like, they're actually professional. So they're kind of better. And they're funner, too. Like, I do like them because, you know what I'm saying? They are funner, too. You know, they're more outgoing. You know what I mean? So I do like them. Like, no cap. I just would not never date them, you know? We don't care. I would never date them. Ever. Yeah, I'm, I'm teaching women how to be selective. Like, we could, like here's the thing. As a woman... I can fuck whoever I want to fuck and have as much fun as I want to have. And then when I'm choosing a committed long-term relationship, I'm going to be really selective about who I choose. But, like, I f listen, that's not fair to your partner. What if your partner thinks about it, though? That's the thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if he's like... No, my partner never asks what my body count is because he's a confident man. My partner isn't interested in who I fucked before he came along. Because he doesn't give a shit. My him. partner wants to... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I was wondering how long he was gonna last because I wasn't giving him anything of what he wanted. He was a guy, most definitely, and he called himself out, right? He he definitely confirmed that he was a guy.